Welcome to Small Land. My name is Neil Lyons, and this is a first look video at this uh, new game uh, coming out, or just came out recently on the 29th of March on Steam. Um, it is, well, what is the, this is the intro on just what has happened. Basically, uh, in our this world, our queen has fallen ill and we have been sent out. We are a little fairy and we've been sent out into the overworld uh, by the king in order to uh, to find a cure. And that's basically the premise and the set set up for for this and we find ourselves in the game immediately so what is this game first of all it looks glorious right it looks really nice uh, we have this handsome little elf uh, running around here in this uh, environment and um, so according to the steam description in terms of what it is it says experience a big adventure in a tiny scale enjoy multiplayer survival in a vast hazardous world preparation is key when you are this small and at the bottom of the food chain craft weapons and armor tame and ride creatures build encampments and explore a strange new world uh, these uh, as we go in here there are a number of things we need to get used to so for example the owl effigy here these will give us some hints about how to play the game uh, we can craft get resources here the two primary resources are fiber and wood you can see we already get some uh, pop up here it reminds very much of uh, Valheim in that regard that when you have re when you find resources then you can uh, craft stuff that requires requires these things and some of those things will actually require a workbench and some will just uh, require so or can we can handcraft it again very much like Valheim there's a lot of things about this uh, game that reminds me of, of Valheim and uh, since that's an awesome game then I think we're uh, you're in a pretty good position if you get compared to Valheim also an early access game this is early access 0.2 is the version number uh, currently and that is uh, is actually quite impressive for how much there is in a game uh, at this early in in here so what I'm gonna do in this video is uh, I will be playing a, a bit of a game we are going to I'm going to show you as much as possible of, of uh, the game in this in about half an hour or so and probably uh, get carried away as well uh, we'll take some insect eggs we can eat those uh, we can talk to these we are down here in the underworld or in the uh, uh, it's not the underworld but we because we call them the overworld and uh, where are we going to so look at nice and fine and we're now ooh, look at that mushroom uh, we are now heading out of the safety of our domain here. Can I pick those up? Yep. And if you hold hold down E then it or hold down your gathering option, then you pick it up and immediately harvest it and pick it up. So we are now outside into the big uh, dangerous world and look at how beautiful it looks. One of the really cool things about this map, is the map is handcrafted. It has a lot of verticality as you can see all of these mushrooms here. That means you can actually climb these trees all the way to the top. Uh, here we have an encampment. You can see an owl statue over there. So this is kind of how you navigate. You can press the map view here for map. We have a person we are supposed to be uh, getting to. And um, he's right down here. And then we can also say that somewhere, probably maybe this location, that's an owl statue, I think, maybe uh, there. And then we can then click it. And then it'll show up on the minimap. Uh, yeah, it's probably not actually the statue that I clicked on. So never mind that. Uh, it's It's pretty cool that you can sort of get look at things and look at that that's a big tree as well here we go uh greetings vanguard welcome to the overland i am captain ernest Hannah, um, yeah yeah captain yes hello captain but most of the come here and I, i'll do that as well what can I do for you so we can ask questions about the world and such really interesting uh, just to get a sense of what's happening here we can ask him to craft armor for us or we can told to report because that's kind of the our quest here it's very nice that there are some quests to guide guide us along but like valheim it's also a lot of grinding along the way and farming resources and not just steamrolling from uh, assignment to assignment that's at least sort of the sense i get from it uh, so Yes, I've been expecting you. The Elder Ludwig has requested your presence. Go see him at once. He's staying in a cave just down the hill. Cool. Then we can ask him if he can make some armor for us. And then, yes, he can. He can make some padded braces, which gives us a little protection and a little bit of cold protection. Or he can make some light that makes us go a little faster and just has marginal uh, protection. We want to get that, but we don't have any uh, in, enough fiber. So we are going to be farming some fiber, just getting the fiber we can along the way. And then we'll try to go to, let's see, on the map. We've now been highlighted the elder down here. We'll just click on him so we can see where he is. But I want to uh, farm some things along the way. All right, so let's return back to Hearn now that we have uh, gotten a little bit of resources. Just ran around in the corner here just to get some stuff. And I want to get some uh, padded armor. It gives us a bit of cold protection. Or do we want to move in speed? Nah, we'll go this one. So we got these three. I'll uh, equip them. Get a little bit more armor. It doesn't really have like a stat sheet as far as I can tell. Uh, also really weird. 
these things, you can't really do anything about it. So you kind of have to just drop it on the ground. You can't sell it. You can't do anything, as far as I can tell. So we now have a little bit of padded armor. It's all very nice. And uh, what we can probably should do is head on in to find the Elder to get our first little quest completed and just, you know, pick up anything and everything along the way. We're going into this cave where we know that the Elder, or we've been told that the Elder is. Actually, one more thing. Uh, we do have a club, so let's equip that. We have a, a some bandages. They are really nice. And we have some food as well. So we can see nourishment just gradually goes down, normal survival style. And if we eat this, we get 30 food, and 30 food will get us up to sort of a well nourished and that's really a nice buff to have hello elder so what's up with you uh what are you doing in this overgrown cave the dual clover creed that unlocks the apothecary's chest has been missing i fear they may have been stolen we're trying to find some other means of opening the chest what's in the chest um you have any idea who might have taken it that's gonna be that keys locked in the royal vault only king and i were allowed the theft was noticed only by the queen became ill and the clover key okay uh i was told you requested my yes we'll go there's a lot of of sort of background thing but let's uh let's go for the quest part there is a little sign uh, next to it that means it was a quest we received troubling reports from overland settlers in this in the forest it seems as though some of the creatures in this area have become unusually agitated and aggressive does this have anything to do with a clover key probably not but you never know do this side quest for me and we can continue that's basically what it says so we need to Da, da, da. we now know who to find Hearn and caleb uh can help you survive good so we look at the map and then see we now have Caleb as well. And we have Hearn that we found before. We can go in here and try to loot the clover chest if uh, if we want to. Here. Uh, yeah, we get all that good stuff. And just anything that's not bolted down as usual when these kind of energy games. We take it. And the walnut chest. Well, can't get it. Love that it's a little walnut. It's a little ship. I try to open it. Yeah, it doesn't work. So from here on, it's uh, there's only one way out. And we can head on out here. Uh, he can't do anything else for us, so we just go on out. And when we are out here, we can now take sort of the second path. You can also see storm approaches, seek shelter. That kind of sucks. Uh, not much we can do about that. Well, there is, but uh, we can build a little house. But uh, I don't really want to do that because I really wanted to go up here. But let's be honest, I probably shouldn't be going up there. So let's go in and figure out on the crafting menu. Let's build a builder thing. There we go. So now we have a builder thing. That is going to be handy. We don't have as much uh, of this. Okay, so let's just build a house. Hey, we can build a workbench, a simple bed, a chest. And it's those are things that unlock. We just need to equip our hammer, right click, and then we can build stuff. So we're going to start by making some foundations. Is this a good place to build? Nah, it's not a great place to build. Uh, we're going to build over here. And you can actually just, when you build and then deconstruct, you get all your resources back again. So that's very handy. I'm going to build a little house just uh, on the precipice here. It's going to be very small. And again, very much Valheim-ish. Uh, we'll get another kind of thing. Uh, let's get some walls around the house here. There we go. And, you know, these ones. Yeah, you know, that's going to be uh, some windows. Some windows. And, you know, I also want a window over here. And, yeah, I don't think I want a window there. Nope. And not there either for some reason. And how do I dismantle that is C. And I want a window here there uh, super easy to make these probably the door good idea there we go and then we need to get some kind of, of uh, roof on top of this and oh no let's get the shelter going dump has broken remain sheltered uh there 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 okay and that's something let's uh build a yeah campfire let's also maybe build a wall a door to the wall oh no door close the door i don't know which way we want to do it there we go and let's also build a bed because this is a miserable place to be i'll well, make it that way there we go so and then set spawn point great uh, what happened to you all right that's because it drops on the ground and we should be sheltered now look over uh, on over my uh, there we go sheltered or oh, my health bar i am sheltered that's great but we can also build another thing uh, we gotta go here Let's try and build a workbench. Let's build a workbench here and see if we can build some cool things from that. Oh, no. Uh, the question is also, can I sleep? Yep. Sleep until morning. Done. 
Hungry and thirsty. Yes. So we're obviously hungry and thirsty. Uh, what are we going to do about that? Well, we're going to make a wooden hatchet, I think. Wooden hatchet doesn't seem particularly useful. It is not, but uh, we want it anyway. Uh, then I can go into the workbench and now you can see, like in Valheim, you have a lot of different things that you can now build. For example, get more bandages would be nice. A simple bow. Mm, that would be great to do that. We need a mandibular uh, pickaxe. Uh, that's going to need to to farm some stone, which you can't do. A crude hatchet is going to need some chitin. We don't have that. So we have a few things that uh, we'd really want to get here. A simple bandage is nice. Uh, wooden hatchet, we got that. Wooden sword is better than our wooden club, right? Eh, a little bit better. So let's get one of those. There we go. It builds instantly. That's really confusing to me. Simple bow. Let's get one of those. And can we get some wooden arrows? Nope, because we don't have any wood. But we have a, we have a bow now, but no arrows. That's lovely. We'll put that up here. Um, and then we need to figure out something about food. It's morning, and it's great, and it's glorious. And I have my... Uh, uh, my wooden axe and we can then go chop down one of these edible mushrooms and then get something to eat pretty quickly There uh, Edible mushroom and how many do we need? Uh, I don't know We'll get the edible mushrooms and then go back and make them over uh, on the bonfire So on the bonfire we can use it and we can get some mushroom steak and mushroom steak good Let's get some mushroom steaks and now we have more mushroom steaks and I can then consume them consume Yummy. And that gets much more nourishment. And one more. Much more nourishment. Great. We get a full stomach, which is a buff that gives us some kind of benefit. And well nourished is also a benefit. I can't see what they do, weirdly enough. Let's close the door. All right. So we're now into the world. And uh, what we'd like to do is we'd like to move towards Caleb. Because we found him that somewhere. Where are you located? You are located there. Um, what's that thing? I don't know. Huh. And we have our house here, so we want to go that way, and we have a wooden sword if need be. So let's go on into this direction and just head down. Uh, all the things sort of respawn as you progress, which is very nice. And and it, it just helps a lot with uh, just constant need for, for these. So just use the fiber, use the wood as much as possible. Here's an interesting thing. Harvest crude hatchet or better. That is not happening. We don't have that. Look at these little cute little ladybugs. And there's some... Uh, rye wheat things yeah uh, we'll keep farming this and go to the owl location while farming everything we can in the ah! okay ants you can see that these are uh... oh there's another one here there okay ants would not be this uh, <laughs> this this easy but we got them if you're this small an ant would be absolutely terrifying but uh, luckily our wooden sword is Penetrating the chitin of the <laughs> of the ants. Luckily, otherwise we'd be toast. Uh, and we are coming down to dare we say the beach. Uh, but there are maybe some things down here we can use. So we have some stone here that we can't harvest because it requires well, that mandibular pickaxe which we don't have. Uh, in the meantime, I would say that in the beginning just harvest everything you can of here. And then we'll try to get some uh, rare resources. I think we can get a little bit of rare resources. Yes, indeed. We can get... We can't get a key. That's a little bit too big. But we can get a screw. Might be used for something. And what else can we get? Over here, there is a thing. It's a bottle cap. That's also good. Bottle cap is good. And a screw is good. They are going to be needed for uh, what and where we are going to afterwards. Now, we need to figure out where we want to go. You know, ah! Yeah, damn it. You stupid the carpenter and uh, you can also do a power attack by doing the right click instead which is good as they approach Whew. okay I see another one coming All right. there and get the head get the limb good Whew. okay uh, let's see that is okay we could try to see if we can get up to that tree that would be really cool if we could get up to that tree, because uh, those trees are really magical. But we also had the objective of finding that damn owl thing. Where's the? Where did the owl go? Ooh, look at that. That's a, a probably a nasty thing. Uh, let's try to find the owl location first. All right, I think we found the owl tree here. There are some notifications as we go along. You can head on up, and uh, these mushrooms are just uh, conveniently placed for us. Thank you for that. Uh, let's go back up here. And just go up to the state. Oh, look at that. That is a mm, spawner location. I don't think we need as much resin as I'm picking up. But 
There we go. And go up here. It's a really cool climbing climbing setup. I think it uh, works it works really well. Uh, it's almost intuitive, and you can't really ask for more than almost being intuitive here. Uh, you kind of get a sense of where you can get up and where you can't get up. Like, can you get up here? Yeah, probably. Look at that. East piece. An owl effigy. Small folk believe owls possess magical power and worship them. It's probably a good idea to worship an owl because they will almost certainly eat the little folk like us. We look like a juicy little snack. So, nothing much here, but we actually got it. We should be able to look back and look at that. That's our little house. Now, this thing is super interesting. Like, hmm, that tree looks like we can get, like, stupidly far up. Let's uh, let's get all the way up there and, uh, and try and see what that's about. Or we could try now that we kind of managed to go there. Well, let's go to Caleb first. Where are you? So here's a little problem. We want to get across from this so we can go over to Caleb. He's over there somewhere. And it doesn't look like there are any good ways of, of uh, crossing. Hmm. Nope. So what are we going to do? Well, how about building our way across? Building not allowed there. Come on. Please. Work. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I saw you. Okay, so we have the usual uh, shenanigans with the uh, snapping here. Oh, I saw you. I saw you somewhere. Ta-da! Uh, water is not good for us little ones. It must be on ground. Hmm. Okay. Well, that didn't help. All right, I guess we have to run across and uh, jump. Jump. <gasps> All right, here we go. I don't. I hope I don't die. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, hurry up. Woo. Okay, good. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll... Ah! Oh, that was just... Yeah. And hits. And hits are food for us. Good. Okay, well, that was... That was something. Uh, let's build another one of these and see if we can sort of match them up against each other to make it a little easier for us to get across here if we want to. Look at that. And must be on ground. I don't know if I can even jump from the one to the other. Ooh, look at that bee stuff. Um, we have to go up here and preferably don't hit any bees. Oh, there's a... Habitat and warrior. Oh, that's a little bit tougher. Uh... And warriors. Ow! We're gonna. All right. Let's um. Let's get some some bandages going here. Eight bandages. That's gonna get a little bit of bandage. Okay. Not a lot. Oh, I did use the club. I should be using the. Other. No wonder if I wasn't really hitting for much. All right. I'm gonna sneak my way up here. Hopefully those things don't indicate bees around. Oh, you know what I'm gonna get? I am definitely gonna get a. Ah! I hear something. Crafting a uh, torch. Uh, that's down there. Uh, let's get that torch. That's a torch. Seven. Okay, where are you? Down there? Right, we uh, proceed. Unabated. Uh, what was that? Let's do V. Carpenter worker and. Okay, vulnerability edged. Oh, 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 panic. Just return to game. Uh, v. <laughs> You can just get over here. All right. I don't want them to be more. I want that to be less, honestly. So let's have a way through this. And oh, that's more of these. Okay, that's. Okay. That's something. Uh, we'll do another bandage. There, bandage. And get the light back on. Good. Whew. Okay, so here is definitely a thing. Uh, okay, hopefully that barrier is to keep all the ants out. As if. Uh, but we are making progress up towards Caleb, right? Right? Please let it be. Yeah, it's, it's up to Caleb. And we're going to be building all we can here. It's almost evening, though. And we have found him. All right, so that is one of the lost people that we... Uh, We've here. Uh, what are you doing here? What? Oh, armor. Armor. What armor can you do? Self-using rocks I found in the mine. 
Um, it may encounter sh the shore speaking of which Gaudi has also fashioned some remarkable armor using resources from that area. Ooh, okay. Map and companion updated. So what can you make first? You can make stone, van braces, stone, stone, stone. So that's a lot of stone. A little bit of uh, fiber. Uh, that's going to be nine fiber plus six plus three plus uh, something. So we, de we do have enough fiber, but we don't have enough fiber to also build a house, I guess. But we need a ton of stone. How do we get stone? Well, stone we need from a get from a mandibular uh, pickaxe. Which is something we have to get. Let's see. Anything farming here around here? Uh, oh, we also had the mission. That was, that was just uh, crafting things. And uh, let's see. We also had the... Uh, what happened here? So one of the tunnels collapsed. Uh, what are you doing here? I thought we were told to get over here. Do you know anything about stoneworking? Nothing. Okay, we need a cutter grinder in order to do it. And then we need bottle caps and screws. There we go. We found the. We know we have those. They can make it a seed oil, oil, uh, seed oil, seeds. Can I have a seed stone? You need a pickup. That's expensive, but you can get it from the mandibula. They're around the entire forest in the mining operation. Good. Okay. Right. So that is. Interesting that it's. There's two options. Okay, we have to go down here and fight a little bit, but we also would very much like to... Uh, um, yeah, we need to get a mandibular X thing. So I'd like to put up a place to sleep, but I'd also like to see what we have down here. Stone, 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 stone. It's only stone. That's kind of sad. Uh, Q is a block, which I'm not super keen on. Alright, I'm gonna go down here and see if I can lure one of these red ants in and uh, try to uh, get. Let's see. They are vulnerable to edged weapon. That's good. But our wooden axe is a technically an edged weapon. Technically. So if we had a bow, it would be really nice. I mean, I do have a bow, but I don't have any arrows for it. And that requires a workbench and a workbench. I don't know. Can I just make a workbench just like that? Let's try it and see if we can make a workbench over here and uh, let's go up here and can i just make a workbench or does that need to be enclosed there not sheltered yeah okay so that doesn't work and then we just pick up things from the ground right so we kind of have to make which i guess again uh, here is another part like what time of day is it this one goes clockwise so it's getting close to um uh, seek shelter damn so i kind of have to make a little house again uh, we can't get back to the other house, so we have to make a little new house. So, let me make a new house. Okay, so it's morning, and we are now trying to head out here. And we built a little house. We slept uh, well tonight. Thank you very much. And we now need to deal with this red ant. Come on. Get one red ant. Not all of them. Ah, if only we had a bow. Right, if only we had a bow. We can't handcraft arrows, right? Nope, no. Ah! Stone ants. Okay. That's actually a nasty one. Ow! Alright, you, my friend. Boom! Bull ant. Just go all in. And we got the mandibular thing here. Great! Which means we can go back and get a stone cutter. Wow, that is not a good uh, match for the roof, but whatever. And there. So that should give us a, an option for making the mandibular. Hey, it's wood. I need more wood. Mm. Uh, do I technically need this? Uh, no. I don't know. Uh, the bed. Mm, do I need it? I Yes, I don't. I don't know where I'm respawning now, but ugh, man, I need to get this mandibular pickaxe. Sweet. And let's get that into position number five. There. So there's a lot of weird, weird stuff here. What about wooden arrows? Oof. Okay, I can get ten wooden arrows. And that has to be up here. And we can make some simple bandages. Sure. Let's make some of those. All right. I guess I used all my bandages now. All right, uh, let's see. We need a little bit of food, so let's also see if we got some exciting food to make. Ant skewers, perfect. Uh, where are the ant skewers, actually? There they are. Okay, so let's uh, get some of those. There we go. That also gives us 30. That's great. And let's see how... That's pretty good. And we get... Mm, well nourished also me heals our hit points a little bit. Or we can just pop one of those. There we go. 
Right, so now we need to head on in. Uh, do we have any stone that we can chop? These are not choppable, aren't they? Nope, not choppable. They have to be sort of certain color. You know what? We can use this, uh, our antenna, to find the stone. Yay! There. All right, so now what we need to do is fight some ants, get some stone. Oh, <laughs> one of these gives us two stone. That's, that's a slow process. There we go, get all of it picked up again. And now we don't have anything here. It's kind of sad that I have to do this because now I don't have any place to sleep or respawn. So just don't die, I guess. All right, we come back here. Hey, how are you doing? Let's uh, see if we can build some uh, build some stone mask is most important because that's kind of where we have here. Embraces, uh, that one and that one. So let's get all of that crap uh, done. And unfortunately, I can't deconstruct these so bloop, bloop, bloop. I just have to throw them down here this makes me a little bit slower I guess minus two minus two minus two minus eight percent but it gives me massive amount of well not massive but it gives me a little bit of protection hopefully that's gonna be handy look at this uh, I don't know handsome elf or fairy I don't know well uh, it's time for us to head on in we don't have any repairs we don't have anything to do we, can, we can't repair anything because we used all of our resources all of for this so we're just gonna go in and see if we can slaughter our way through these see if we can pull one the donuts are a little bit more dangerous uh, that one i wish we could throw something at you can you aggro please no yeah i don't want two of them but i don't do don't want mind getting one here, alright, that seems like a safe spot. We don't really want these. Okay, so we can continue to go down here. I really need some kind of ant here aggroing on me and not just going down and everything aggroing at once. Kind of bad. There you go, I got one. No, I didn't. Let's try to sneak though. Sneaking up on an ant seems a little bit... Nope. All right, got stuff. Got one. And uh, no mind sneaking, sneaking here. I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, look at that. That was just full on aggression. Great. And we have some more. Let's try to make sure we don't get all of them at once. Here's one. Oh, you're still alive. No, you're not. Great. Okay, we're still pretty healthy. Pretty healthy still. Uh, let's see where the other ones are. We got lots of stone. There should be one over here. Right? Oh, there it is. Cool ant. Yes. And I'm sure we can both block and parry and all that stuff, but hey, that's not kind of our cup of tea. Can we harvest the poison mushroom? Um... I don't know what we can do with the poison mushroom for, but if we pick it up, maybe we'll get a recipe or something. No, we didn't. Oh well. So we need more than what we have, or maybe a different kind of setup or something. Don't want to eat them, for sure. But I, what I do want to eat is, I want to eat something, like one of these. So we get up to well-nourished and full stomach, so that we actually get a little bit of automatic healing. I'm also going to be burning through this part. Here. Okay, uh, we are... Heading into the nether, the, the dungeon here. All right, we got one you. I'm just gonna fight my way through this. Uh, some probably could, oh, we shelter now. Probably could be more stealthy or more dodgy. And uh, yeah. yeah, look at that dodge. But I just, I feel I take way more damage trying to dodge because I used my stamina and stuff. Right, so let's, let's see if we can sneak up. Ugh, we move so damn slowly when sneaking with the stone armor. There we go, that's much faster. I'm not going to pick up anything yet, because uh, that's just something we can farm on the way out. But uh, just head on in, that is... Ah, that's for the box cutter. No, stone cutter. 
The cutter thing. Okay, that's a dead end. Hmm. Odd. Stone. Yep, we got it. And just keep looking here. There should be more, right? Should be some more. No. All right. So I think I need to start uh, chopping this down and uh, emptying this as much as possible so we can get some stone. I don't know what I'm going to use the stone for uh, beyond my armor, but we'll get a little bit of stone. So I think we got enough from this location just now. I am now in my inventory. I have 60, uh, 60 stone. That should be enough for building what we want, at least for now. But look at that tree. I want to go up there. Look, there's a little balloon up there. What if we try to get to that tree and figure out what happens if we climb all the way up? That seems to be a really good good idea. Wow, that was not a good, uh, good fight here. Uh, all right, so let's uh, try to get to... That's the owl tree, but we want to get that tree over here. Let's uh, just... Let's just try to get over there. And I really want to get a lot of uh, resources as uh, as we go over there. Like, and by resources, I mean uh, wood, and, wood and fiber, for sure. Oh, right, we have a very busy location here. And... All right, good, good, good. Not a problem. These ants are okay, and you just need desperate amount of uh, wood and uh, fiber. All right, we have started from our little uh, original house. I've set my spawn point at that location, and it is now time for us to try to scale this tree. Hmm. Well, doesn't look immediately successful, but we'll keep trying. We'll keep running around here, just trying to find a way up. We know there is a way up. And we made it to the top. Ooh, look at that. All the way to the top of the tree. Now what happened here? The spirit of the great tree is listening. What is it you wish? I want to claim this tree. You've claimed this great tree. Your tree encampment is private. Awesome. And this one will now allow us to... Hello, Vanguard. What can I do for you? Take me down to the root, please. I'd like to ask you something about the great tree. So this one will now allow us to go down. And we have now this tree is our tree. And that's pretty damn amazing because it not only that, uh, that also means that when you find any any tree anywhere in the world, then you can climb up and then you will automatically go up this one and then the tree will be, or uh, whatever you build in here, will be also available in other trees. So basically you build one encampment and you can access it by climbing not all the way up as I just did, but only up to the location where the hot air balloon actually is uh, is resting at the bottom so you can probably usually find those easily but i think it's time for us to build a house so this is our little house uh i don't know how that works with the burning thing in here but uh, we have a workbench we have a bed we have a bonfire that's great what else can we do here now we should be able to make something new a stone cutter yeah let's make a stone cutter right there we can now make apothecary table, cauldron, tannery, covered bed. Mm, all good. Lots of stuff that we can build in here. Oh, we can make a stone spear, which require refined wood. We can make stone bricks, which require flint. We don't have. We can make a stone hammer, which require refined wood. Okay, we can make seed oil from seeds, and we can make refined oil from seed oil. So now we need to find seed to seed oils to refined wood to get, for example, a cool spear, for example, uh, some stone hammer uh, for smashing. We have flint spear, even that's later on flint, all that good stuff. That is a lot of interesting things. What we also definitely want to do is we want to make some chests here. Yeah, let's make some chests over there and there and there because we are now getting like a ton of weird stuff that we don't know what to do with, but uh, we're gonna get it. Uh, one thing will be like food stuff, for example. Like, I don't know, maybe insect eggs are. Oh, right. <laughs> control click doesn't do it but we now have a lot of stuff that we can put in here you know i don't want to eat those and uh, we have like crafting things that one and i have a ton of screws as well that's screws right 
So those kind of feel like the same thing. Then we have like uh, basic stuff like fiber and wood, for example, and maybe even the resin, fire wooden resin. Yeah, there we go. Stone, I don't know where stone is going to be. I'll put it in here. Stone for that one, for example. And then we'll sort of be primarily looking at our items here, the stuff that we have. Uh, we get some food. And that's pretty... Oh, we well, don't know what a lymph bug's lymph is. It's probably uh, edible. So, uh, where do we where do we decide to get the edible things from? Hmm, I don't know. That's edible maybe kind of thing, but we don't need know what it's for. Uh, some arrows. Oh, they have to be... Uh, they're up there. That's good. And this is a poison mushroom. Yeah, we'll put it in down here. Mandibles. It does say that crunchy when grilled. Well, that means it's food stuff. And then, uh, let's see this. Yeah, okay. Just feed that damn thing. There we go. Look at that. We have now a full complement of things. This is our house. This is our home. It is really nice. And we are now ready for going out on more adventures. Except we're not. Because we have shown enough of this game to get you started. So, I hope you found this first look uh, interesting. I think this is a very cool game that has a lot of cool potential. Especially sort of the taming and creatures and all that stuff. And also potentially multiplayer. I am going to play it more on stream tonight and probably also more times on this I Rage Quit, as you all know. So uh, come on by on Twitch TV slash Nilos and uh, uh, watch me play or play along if you want. And uh, also if you want to see more videos, sort of summary videos and sort of highlight videos here on YouTube, sort of with showcases, tutorials, guides, whatever, then let me know because that's kind of how I decide what content comes on the channel. Thank you for watching. On to next time. Take care. And as always, stay effective.